Brooklyn Nine-Nine was canceled. But it also might not be canceled. Dave, Fox canceled Brooklyn Nine-Nine. That's set in stone. Is it though? Yes, that's what Fox reported. Well, uncancel it, cause I'm Dave Klein. And I went even landing him. And this is Canceled Wire. Oh my God, no it's not. Please don't cancel us. This past week, Fox pulled out the old trapping block and axed the heads off of multiple beloved shows, including The Last Man on Earth, The Mick, and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. But just like a chicken without its head, Brooklyn Nine-Nine is still running around. You really wanted to write that analogy, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. While Fox did indeed cancel Brooklyn Nine-Nine, reportedly a few other outlets have expressed interest in picking up the show. This past season, Brooklyn Nine-Nine hit the major syndication milestone of 100 episodes, meaning Fox can now sell old episodes to other networks to air as reruns. So they may have just waited long enough to get as much money out of the show as they can with the least amount of effort. The show's actually been doing pretty well, with an average of 2.7 million viewers in the 18 to 49 demo, and critical praise for the most recent season. Fans have been hitting the tweets to express their displeasure at the show's cancellation and support for the show, with showrunner Dan Gore retweeting many of these, and tweeting out himself, Wow, thank you all for this incredible outpouring of support. Hashtag Brooklyn Nine-Nine fans are the best fans in the world. It means the world to me and everyone else who works on the show. The cast of the show were also quick to tweet out and talk about how sad they were the show was canceled, with fans starting petitions to save Brooklyn Nine-Nine on change.org. One potential outlet for Brooklyn Nine-Nine is Hulu, which picked up the show The Mindy Project after Fox canceled it. Another possibility is TBS, as the network is overseen by Kevin Riley, who's not just a big fan of the show, but also helped develop and launch Brooklyn Nine-Nine for Fox. It worked for Fox from 2007 to 2014 as the president of entertainment before switching careers for Turner Broadcasting, being named the president of TNT and TBS, as well as the chief creative officer for Turner Entertainment. So all in all, things are looking up for Brooklyn Nine-Nine. You know what makes me truly sad though? What's that? The Simpsons was renewed for yet more seasons by Fox, and yet they canceled Futurama. Futurama! It's still one of my favorite shows. Why do they cancel everything I love? First Firefly and Futurama, and now this? They're also the ones who pick up and launch the shows. I know! Whoever makes the decisions for picking up shows has amazing taste, and then is passed over to an old, out-of-touch old dude who only likes applesauce and caviar and cancels everything <laughs> I love. <laughs> what is that? Old people like applesauce, and rich people like caviar, all right? <laughs> okay. And caviar in applesauce. I am never coming to your house for dinner. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> Are you saying I'm old and rich? Yes. Oh. Do you want to see life breathe back into Brooklyn Nine-Nine? And if so, who do you hope picks it up? Let us know in the comments below. Like and subscribe to all of our things. And hey, hey you. Yeah, you watching right now. If you click to the left of Whitney's pretty face, you can watch more Nerdwire news. I know you want to click that. You sure do, big boy. Oh, yeah. Is that like a thing that old people are known for loving? Just old, out-of-touch <laughs> people eating their applesauce and caviar just like it's a goddamn treat.